Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I always appreciate it when you spend some of your quarantine time with me. Now this is a watch I've been meaning to review for a couple weeks, I just never got around to it. So I wanna to apologize to the guys over at eGuard. Sorry guys, I meant to get to it. I just, you know, I had a couple other watches ahead of it. But anyway, I'm doing it now. So today we have the eGuard Icon V1 Steel, and this is a 100 meter automatic. And as usual, we're gonna look at the style, the build quality, the functions, wearability, and loom. And then I'll let you know what I think of this brand new Icon V1 from eGuard. Also guys, make sure you check out my Amazon shopping channel for the other watches I've reviewed on this channel. I do get a small commission if you buy from my Amazon store, so I definitely, definitely appreciate it. Now, like I did in the last review, I'm actually gonna go ahead and put up the specs on the screen for you. I'm um, gonna put them up for about five seconds, so go ahead and do a little freeze frame if you wanna take a look at all the different specs. I found that it just takes so much time during the reviews to actually verbally go over everything. So like I said, I'll go ahead and put up the specs, freeze frame, and if you wanna get into the nitty gritty and you know learn about the movement and the power reserve and all that other stuff, and uh, I'll go ahead and go over the actual watch here in just a second. All right, guys, here you go. Now, you know eGuard has really big watch boxes. Kind of cool. A little black on a little white stitching there. Big watch box. Now, you do get a rubber strap with these, uh, which I, I think is really nice. So if you want to take a little bit of weight off and take it off the stainless steel, go ahead and slap it on the rubber. Really well done rubber strap. In fact, let me show you this real quick. I'm going to take the watch out. Let me show you what you get in the back here too. There we go. Let's take a look at this. You got the little eGuard swords up there. Icon, you can see it's on the rubber right there. A very uh, AP inspired watch, I must say, at least with the, uh, the bracelet. But it's definitely different and unique, which I like. You can see the specs there, using your watch, like a little care guide. Register if you want to. There you go. Let's take a look at this rubber strap. Looks like it might be. Ah, it looks like it's sealed in the bag. No, maybe not. There we go. There you go. Ooh, nice, nice quality rubber, by the way. There's this one. Oh, yeah. Now, I know some of you guys hate it when I say the word supple. <laughs> but this is very soft and very supple, very flexible. Uh, nice, man. Nice little rubber strap. So, of course, you have drilled lugs. You just go ahead and pop these off. Pop the bracelet off and you pop the strap in. So, there you go. All right, let's put all this stuff away. Let's talk about this watch. Now, I normally, you know, don't review dress watches because they really just don't do anything for me. But this one is so unique and so different, especially with that curved sapphire crystal that you know couldn't have been easy to engineer and figure out how to do and how to fit it into the case perfectly but look at that man wow really really nice uh it is a little bit heavy i couldn't get a weight on it i apologize uh it is a little bit heavy so if you definitely want to get rid of some of that weight slap it on that rubber strap uh, but just a really good looking watch again very ap inspired uh, especially this bracelet uh it's highly polished on the sides right there uh, you have like a semi-polished side right here on the bezel. You can see the curve in the sapphire. That is really cool how they did that, man. Really cool. You got some lugs right here on top. I guess they're really just, I think it's actually like a two-piece case, if I remember correctly. Uh, so those are actually screws in there on top of the case. Uh, the dial, pretty cool. You got a 24-hour disc over here at 9 o'clock. You got the small running seconds over here, I guess, what's that, about 4 or 5 o'clock. You can see the, uh, the balance wheel. Actually, let's go ahead and uh, spin it up here so you can see the balance wheel spinning. There we go. There you go. There it goes. little open heart design. I really do like this 24-hour sun and moon dial. Basically, that's just a 24-hour dial. And you'll see when if I set the watch, you'll see it turning. So that means right there, that means it's 12 o'clock at night because the moon's at the top. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, it's not a screw-down crown. It's just a push-pull crown. So there you go. Now you can see the dial going. And if I had to go all the way back around, now you're looking at 12 o'clock midday or in the afternoon. There you go. The hands are skeletonized a little bit. The dial, um, it doesn't really have any kind of markings. I mean, it does. It does for the indexes and all the hour markings, but they're kind of hard to see unless you kind of tilt the watch. I wish they had maybe you know, delineated these markers just a little bit more, maybe loomed them possibly. 
Uh, this pattern right here over at 3 o'clock looks almost like uh, carbon fiber, but it's not. It's kind of got that like carbon fiber look to it, that weave. You've got a big eGuard logo up here at 12 o'clock. Uh, again, small seconds. I guess it was about five. You got your open heart. You got your 24-hour sun and moon right there. Pretty cool, man. Uh, unfortunately, this doesn't hack, uh, which is not a big deal to me. I like watches that hack, uh, but it's not a big deal. But it does hand wind, which is nice. Again, that crystal is crazy how they did that. That is really, really interesting. Really cool how they did Again, this is not really my type of watch, man, but eGuard wanted me to review it, and I said, absolutely. eGuard is a great patriotic company. Uh, I like a lot of their watches, and they definitely have very original designs, which I appreciate. They're not cookie-cutter homages of Rolexes or other watches. Um, I just think they, they really do a good job, especially for the, the fit and finish. Uh, you know, for what you're paying, the fit and finish is really decent. This bracelet is really nice. It doesn't articulate much. It, you know, it, it kind of, it bends a little bit, but it's not going to articulate very much. But the fit and finish on the bracelet is fantastic for the price. Really cool. It has a double deployment butterfly clasp. Not my favorite, but it's very well built. It's solid. Feels good. And I'll go ahead and try it on here in just a sec. Actually, while I have it open, let's take a look at the case back. You can see it looks like a little eye right there in the middle. Highly decorated case back. It says Sapphire. These are individually numbered, by the way. It has its own individual serial number. Screw down case back. A lot of laser etching there. You can see the sun and the moon with, again, what looks like an eye right there in the middle of the, uh, I guess, the sun, I guess. Uh, really cool case back. Egard does a great job with their case backs. A lot of, you know, they highly decorate most of them. Pretty cool, man. A lot of polishing. I mean, this is a this is definitely a dress watch. It's a blingy watch for sure. You can see the crown here. Crown is signed. If I can show it to you. There you go. Here's the eGuard logo right there. I mean, just a nice dress watch, man. It's 100 meters water resistant. Uh, obviously, you're you know you're not gonna want to go swimming or or I mean you can. But this is not really a diver's watch. You're not going to want to go in the ocean with this or go swimming or any sort of, you know, water sports. That's not what this is made for. Though it'll probably handle it. I mean, it's, it's 100 meters water resistant. But, you know, another thing with this curved sapphire, I, I don't know. I'd be a little careful. Let's just put it that way. So, anyway, good looking watch. Very well built for the money. Neat looking case back. That sapphire crystal uh, is just so cool to look at that thing. And, again, I'm not really a big fan of dress watches at all. But it's a good looking watch, man. I really like the uh, small seconds hand, how the hand actually overlaps the uh, balance wheel. You'll see it swing around there and that hand will actually go right over the balance wheel, which is really cool. Neat little feature. You can see it's kind of gilded, I guess, that balance wheel in that gold color. Uh, the hands, again, semi-skeletonized. I guess the middle portion of each hand is semi-skeletonized. You have a little luminous pip on each end of the hour and minute hand. I would have, you know, personally preferred a little bit more loom. That's just me. I would have preferred that the uh, indexes be loomed as well and be better delineated because they really do just blend in with the dial. And again, unless you hold it at a certain angle, it's going to be hard to see those indexes. You can see the hand as it passed over the balance wheel right there, the cutout for the balance wheel. Uh, very angular case. Again, very AP inspired, but definitely not an homage by any means, especially with this kind of egg-shaped curved sapphire crystal cool watch man and, you know for the money i think these are what 435 dollars for the money i think it's a great deal you get a nice you know miyota movement which is of course you know made by citizen uh cool looking watch man let's go ahead and try this thing on and it's not as heavy as i thought it is it's definitely got some weight to it but it's not crazy heavy and then if you want to put it on that rubber strap there you go Ooh, that feels nice it looks cool too man I wish he had just done a little bit more with the dial, man. Just, I don't know, added something around the perimeter. That's what it is. It's missing some stuff around the perimeter of the dial, especially where those indexes are. I think if he had done that, that might have made it a little bit more complete in my eyes. But uh, besides, really besides the indexes and maybe the lack of loom, good looking watch. Feels great on the wrist, by the way. So let's go ahead and check out that loom. I know we're not going to be super impressed. But let's go ahead and check it out anyway. Let me go ahead and cut out the uh, studio light, cut out my monitor. And let's see what we got here so far as the loom goes. Oh, look at that. The uh, 
the small seconds down there at five o'clock is actually loomed. Look at that. I mean, it's a little hard to see, but it's definitely loomed. There you go. Cool. Now what I'm also gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and put up some, uh, some macro shots of this watch for you so you can kind of get a really good look at that dial. I'll put up a few of those right now for you. You can see the sun and moon. You can see the small second hands running. You can see that balance wheel spinning. Get a little better close up of the uh, kind of like that that carbon fiber kind of pattern over here on the uh, I guess the right hand side. Anyway, pretty cool, man. Good looking watch. Very well done for the price, uh, and it's definitely an original. It's not copying any other watch out there, which I definitely definitely appreciate. It. All right, guys, this is currently $435 over on eGuard's website. I'll make sure to put a link in the description field for you. And as always, make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you click that notification bell. I definitely appreciate it when you do that. I've got some more stuff coming soon. Hopefully, it'll get here pretty quick. And uh, guys, that's it, man. Until the next review, I'll see you later. Take care. Bye-bye.